Welcome to our channel. Today we're diving into the fascinating world of energy. Everything we do, from riding a bike to watching TV, requires energy. But what exactly is energy? Well, energy is simply the ability to do work or cause change. And guess what? Energy exists in many different forms. Over the next few minutes, we'll be exploring the five main forms of energy and discovering how they impact our daily lives. We'll uncover the secrets of thermal energy, unravel the mysteries of electrical energy, get moving with mechanical energy, shine a light on light energy, and get loud with sound energy. Get ready for some exciting demonstrations and mind-blowing facts. So, strap on your thinking caps, put on your safety goggles, and let's embark on an electrifying adventure into the world of energy. First up, let's get fired up about thermal energy. It's one of the most fundamental forms of energy in our universe. You can think of thermal energy as the energy of moving particles. It's everywhere, in everything. Everything around us, even this very screen you're watching, is made up of tiny particles called atoms and molecules. These particles are always in motion. These little guys are constantly in motion, vibrating and bumping into each other. This movement is what we call thermal energy. The faster they move, the more thermal energy they have, and the hotter something gets. It's a direct relationship. Think about what happens when you heat a pot of water on the stove. The heat from the stove is transferred to the water. The heat from the stove makes the water molecules move faster and faster. This increased movement is thermal energy in action, eventually they move so fast that the water starts to boil. This is a clear demonstration of thermal energy. That's thermal energy in action. It's a process we see and use every day. The sun is another great example of thermal energy. It's our primary source of heat and light. It's like a giant nuclear reactor in space, constantly releasing energy in the form of light and heat. This energy sustains life on Earth. This heat travels millions of miles through space to warm our planet, making life on Earth possible. Without it, our world would be a frozen wasteland. But thermal energy isn't just about things getting hotter, it's also about the transfer of heat. It can also be transferred or moved from one object to another. This is how we cook food and stay warm. Remember that pot of boiling water? The heat from the stove is transferred to the water causing it to boil. If you put your hand near the steam you'll feel the heat transferring from the steam to your hand. This is thermal energy transfer. Thermal energy is all around us, from the warmth of the sun to the heat from a light bulb. It's an essential part of our daily lives. It's what keeps us warm, cooks our food, and even powers some of our power plants. We rely on it more than we realize. So next time you feel the heat, remember that it's just thermal energy at work. It's a fascinating and vital part of our world. Get ready to be energized because we're about to explore the electrifying world of electrical energy. Electrical energy is the flow of tiny particles called electrons. You can think of electrons like tiny little race cars zooming through a wire, racing to deliver energy. These electrons carry energy with them as they move from one place to another, creating a flow of power. We can harness this energy to power our homes, charge our phones, and even run our computers, making our lives more convenient. Imagine a battery, for example. Inside a battery, there are chemicals that push electrons around, creating a stored source of energy. When you connect a battery to a device, like a flashlight, you're creating a pathway for those electrons to flow, lighting up the darkness. As the electrons zoom through the wires of the flashlight, they light up the bulb, giving us light and visibility. Electrical energy is one of the most versatile forms of energy we have, powering countless devices and appliances. It can be easily converted into other forms of energy like light, heat, and sound, making it incredibly useful. Think about a toaster, for instance. When you plug in a toaster, electrical energy flows through the wires and is converted into heat, which toasts your bread to a perfect golden brown, ready to enjoy. Get ready to move because we're diving into the exciting world of mechanical energy. This is the energy that powers our everyday lives and fuels our most thrilling adventures. Mechanical energy is the energy of motion or position. It's all around us, in everything we do and see. It's the energy that makes things move, from a speeding car to a spinning top. Without it, nothing would be able to move or function. Now, mechanical energy comes in two main flavors, kinetic energy and potential energy. Each plays a crucial role in the way objects behave. Kinetic energy is the energy of motion. It's what you feel when you're riding a bike or running fast. Anything that's moving has kinetic energy. From the smallest insect to the largest vehicle, if it's in motion, it's got kinetic energy. 
The faster something moves, the more kinetic energy it has. Speed is a key factor in determining kinetic energy. Think about a bowling ball rolling down the lane. As it gains speed, it gains kinetic energy. As the ball picks up speed, its kinetic energy increases. This energy is what makes the ball powerful. By the time it hits those pins, it has enough kinetic energy to send them flying. The impact is a direct result of the kinetic energy. Now potential energy is a bit different. It's the energy an object has because of its position or shape. It's the energy an object has due to its position or shape. This energy is stored and ready to be used. It's like stored energy just waiting to be unleashed. When released, it can do work or cause motion. Imagine a stretched rubber band. When you stretch it, you're storing potential energy in the rubber band. When you stretch it, you're storing potential energy in the rubber band. This energy is waiting to be released. Let it go, and that potential energy is converted into kinetic energy as the rubber band snaps back to its original shape. This transformation is a perfect example of how energy changes forms. Get ready to be illuminated as we explore the fascinating world of light energy. Light energy is a special kind of energy that travels in waves. It's the reason we can see the world around us. Unlike some other forms of energy, light energy doesn't need anything to travel through. It can zoom through the vacuum of space at an incredible speed, which is why we can see the light from stars that are trillions of miles away. But light energy isn't just about seeing, it plays a vital role in many natural processes. Plants, for example, use light energy from the sun to make their food through photosynthesis. Without light energy there would be no plants and without plants there would be no us. Light energy also allows us to communicate. Think about fiber optic cables. These cables use pulses of light to transmit information at lightning fast speeds, making it possible for us to make phone calls, browse the internet, and watch streaming videos. Get ready to make some noise as we explore the world of sound energy. Sound energy is produced by vibrations. When something vibrates it causes the air molecules around it to vibrate too. These vibrations travel through the air as sound waves, which eventually reach our ears, allowing us to hear. Think about a drum for example. When you hit a drum, the drum head vibrates. These vibrations cause the air molecules around the drum to vibrate, creating sound waves that travel to our ears. Sound energy can travel through different materials, not just air. Have you ever noticed how well sound travels through water? That's why whales can communicate with each other over long distances underwater. Sound energy is used in many different ways. We use it to communicate, to create music, and even to see inside the human body using ultrasound technology. Thanks for watching. Remember all these forms of energy can transform into one another. Think about it. The chemical energy stored in a battery can transform into electrical energy, which can then transform into light and heat energy in a light bulb. Understanding energy helps us use it wisely and find better ways to power our world. By exploring renewable energy sources like solar, wind, and hydropower, we can create a more sustainable future for generations to come. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more exciting content. See you next time.